everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Wednesday evening. Uh, today I am doing just a straight pour, um, but I've got a little, a new uh, piece, a new tool to use for my pour instead of pouring out of a regular cup. So I'll get down on the canvas and I'll explain more. Let's get down. All right, everyone. So what I've got is a little 16 by 16 gallery wrap canvas. Um, I'm doing an experiment today. So I found these little shot glasses in my little local liquor store. So they're about seven ounces. It's got a well, let me show you. You guys can see that. It's got a, a well here in the center and then you have the cup itself. What I wanna do is I'm gonna fill up that well with gold paint and then I'm gonna layer the rest of the colors over top of it and it's gonna fill up the cup. Then I'm going to pour it out in a straight pour. See what kind of result I get out of it. So I'm only going to need about nine ounces. These cups are about seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill them up. So I'll have 14 ounces of paint. I have plenty of paint to kind of work with in composition. Real quick, the colors that I'm going to use is Champagne Gold from Deco Art. This is Thalo Blue from um, Amsterdam Expert Series. This here is Iridescent Red Blue from Pebio. I got some Windsor Violet from Windsor Newton. Dinko Art in the Metallic Cobalt Blue. And then I'm using a little bit of Titanium White. All right, so let's get to layering up these cups. Since I'm gonna need two of these cups here, so let's put the gold right to the top there of the well. Now I'm gonna layer in my color. So let's do some metallic cobalt blue. Windsor Newton purple, the violet, excuse me. the blue red and the blue now I'm gonna go in from the opposite side with some white I'm gonna do these colors again. Now this is gonna cover up the well of champagne, which is fine. Because I haven't tried this yet, I have really no idea what this is gonna do, but that's part of the fun. Let's do that again. Fill up the well with the champagne. All right, so I'm gonna pour just some little white small puddle pour into. All right, let's see how this goes. Here's one of the cups. Let's go with the second one.
with some torch. Now one thing I do want to note with a straight pour, a lot of times we tend to see people, they want to keep the center in the painting off-centered somewhere. Sometimes you want to tilt it and just create these big wave of lines and you could totally lose your center. I'm seeing a lot of gold and a lot of blue, so I'm thinking I may end up having to tilt a lot more than normal, which is going to be great because I got 14 ounces of paint on here and I don't necessarily need the 14 ounces of paint. What I'm doing now is I'm adding a little bit of water to my leftover white that I have here and I'm going to use that just as flow extender. What I'm doing is adding a little bit of this metallic cobalt blue, running it through this gold. I don't want huge blocks. of Gold there. All right. Let's start to tilt. back here and evaluate. Me and my genius thinking decided not to use push pins today. They always use push pins. But I'm digging the results. I like this. The champagne gold stretched out, didn't go too crazy. Got some really wild and crazy little boulder cells. Got some great little swooshes through here. And that champagne gold is going to continue to bubble up creating these cells, so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I'm digging this. What do you guys think? Wow. Now, let's see about orientation. Which direction? This way. This way, yeah, this way, perfect. All right. I like what happened with those little shot cups. Really cool. Got a nice cute little flower shape. It's off centered. It's not completely in the center there. All right, here we are with the wet result. I'm loving the composition. It looks like kind of like a, 
a rose or some sort, the center. I'm loving it. Let me bring you in close. I love that little, looks like a little flower, right? Champagne gold really played well in this. Got some bling. All right, let's see how this bad boy dries. Okay, here we are with the dried result. I'm really digging this composition. So cool, the colors really vibe together. Okay, everyone, that is it. So this really turned out great. I love what this champagne gold is doing. I love how we just give some bolder cells throughout here. The white is really interacting. Great color combination. If I do say so myself, I'm very happy with this. This will definitely get some resin because there's not a whole lot of white to worry about turning yellow. So I think that's going to be great for this piece. Thank you everyone for watching. Everyone have a great rest of the week and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.